Today I want to show you how to make an exploding box a really simple way. And once you get the hang of these, they don't take any time at all. So the first sheet we're going to cut to 27 centimeters by 27 centimeters. And then we're going to score it. And for that, I'm going to take that blade out so I don't accidentally cut. We're going to score it at nine centimeters. and at 18 centimeters. Then we're going to flip it round 90 degrees and we're going to do the same again at nine centimeters and at 18 centimeters. That's our first layer. Second layer, we're going to cut at 24 centimeters. So we found our 24 centimeter mark on my trimmer and we cut that, turn it 90 degrees and we cut it there as well. So we now have 24 centimeters by 24 centimeters and we're going to score this sheet at 8 centimeters. and at 16 centimeters. Then we're going to turn it 90 degrees and we're going to do it again at eight centimeters and at 16 centimeters. Put that to one side, our third layer. Put the blade back in for this one is 21 centimeters. Let's find that on the trimmer. By 21 centimeters. And then this one gets scored at seven centimeters. And 14 centimeters. Turn it 90 degrees and do it 7 centimeters and 14 centimeters again. Now the next step is to cut all the corners out so that you end up with a cross. So we just snip those corners out. The cardstock that we're cutting out doesn't get wasted because you can use these corners as layers on, on the flaps once we're ready to decorate. So you end up with three pieces that look like that. So now that we've cut all the corners out of all three pieces, we just fold along those remaining score lines. This is the point probably where you would decorate your panels. Uh, you can use as I said, you can use these off cuts on there because they fit just about perfectly without even having to trim. You could put photos in there you know, if, if you were making like a little album. There's lots of things that you could actually, you could tuck gift cards, make little pockets and tuck gift cards in. But this one I won't decorate, it's just to show you how to do it. So now we put it together. So we just use double sided tape, probably want three strips or four strips maybe across the bottom, across the base. And 
then that just gets put on like that and we do the same with the third layer So that is your basic exploding box and now we're going to make a lid for it. So we take just this for the lid, I've got an a, just an A4 sheet of cardstock but we're going to trim it down to 13 and a half centimetres square. So there's 13 and a half by 13 and a half. And then we're going to score it at two centimeters all the way around. Just fold on those score lines. Now, we're not going to cut these squares completely out. What we're going to do is just cut one side of them. So we'll cut that one, because then that will tuck like that for your corner. Let's cut that one. Okay, and on those little flaps that we've got left, we'll just put a little bit of double-sided tape. And then we just tuck the flaps you all have to excuse the background noises that you may hear on this YouTube clip today Nathan and I are not alone in the house like we usually are when we do this and uh, there's a bit of racket going on I apologise for that. There we go, that's your lid done. So that should, fingers crossed, fit on top of our box lid. There we go. And that is an exploding box done. So today we're decorating a cheap bag because I forgot to buy paper for mum's Mother's Day card.